Now, the Gospels do a fantastic job of documenting the life and ministry of Jesus. The Gospels record many times where Jesus demonstrated the power and presence of the kingdom, preaching the gospel, healing the sick, casting out demons, and more. And each of these instances where Jesus acted, there was a unique trigger point. And oftentimes, the author tells us what the trigger point is. Other times, it's implied the trigger point, whenever Jesus acted with compa- uh, to preach or to heal or to deliver or to set free, the scriptures often tell us that he was what? He was moved with compassion. This was the trigger. He was moved with compassion. Now, the interesting thing is that Jesus had, Jesus had many enemies He had all kinds of skeptics, all kinds of haters, and they would often press him to prove who he was. And Jesus, if you are who you say you are because we don't believe you, do some of those slick miracles that we've heard about. Open these blind eyes. Make the lame person walk again. Show us a sign. And do you know that Jesus never did any miracles under those circumstances? Never, ever, ever. I don't know that I would have been humble enough not to throw my weight around a little bit. (laughs) Now, Burt Wagner, who used to be the national director for Vineyard USA, uh, wrote an interesting commentary on this text, and I just want to read briefly just a a short quote. Burt says this, It is interesting to me what Jesus left out of this list of reasons for the anointing. The things that are left out of Jesus' statement are sadly often made the primary reasons for the anointing in some circles. But Jesus says nothing about being anointed so he can be happy or rich. He says nothing about being anointed so he can have peace, be wealthy, speak in tongues, or prophesy. He says nothing about being anointed so he can have a really exciting experience with God. None of these are included by Jesus as his reasons for being anointed or sent. The things he left out are not bad. It's good to be happy and rich to speak in tongues and to prophesy, and to have wonderful religious experiences, but they are not the primary reasons for the anointing of the Spirit. Let that sit in the room for a second. Jesus was anointed for a reason. And Jesus' motivation for wanting to be anointed and be filled with the Spirit are oftentimes different than ours. As we tick through this list of what he's come to do and why he's been called and why he's been sent and why he's been powered by the Spirit, I can gather, and hopefully you gather this with me, that Jesus was called to be compassionate. At the root of all of this, Jesus was called to be compassionate 